<laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Who's going to budge first? Welcome. We got some breaking news for you all. Uh, welcome back, back to the channel. Um, yeah, so we got some breaking news coming out of uh, HHN. Tony, what do you? What's going on? Breaking news. Last night we reported that HHN Construction and Not Scary Farm Construction were well underway for 2020. Today we've gotten a news article or an actual article from Universal Studios' website in Hollywood saying Hollywood uh, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights returns fall 2020. Prepare for the scariest, most intense Halloween event in Southern California created by the sickest and most twisted minds in horror and the movie studio that invented the horror film genre. The event features terrifying, terrifying mazes that brings to life the most frightening films and television shows ever. The thrills continue with our high energy, live entertainment and terrifying scare zones awaiting you around every dark corner. So, HHN looks like it's on the good to go for so far. Um, of course, with the construction updates going and that uh, little brief um, kind of synopsis that it is returning for fall 2020 um, keeps us even more in hope for a haunt season, even if it's something small or at least if it's HHN for now, that's what I'm seeing. I haven't heard any other haunts so far, but HHN is looking like it's going to be opening its doors this haunt season. So we shall see. Um, yeah, I, I think what was crazy, at least in, in terms of what I've you know, seen on that announcement, is they're not ruling out scary zones. They're not ruling out shows. Um, and they're, they're, they're saying everything's a go, basically, at this point. Um, yeah. which is, I think it's good news. I think that's a message Universal's been putting on since the... Uh, pandemics really started as um you know part of our dust but we're still working yeah uh, and you know in their words and so our park may not be open yet but we're not going to cancel until we have to cancel yep. and we're going to be pointing all signs towards uh you know poor nights in the fall whether that be september october or you know some shorter version of that definitely um, and speaking of Horror Nights, um, as well, I mean, this was also released yesterday, but I didn't see it till like, after we filmed the video, and that is, of course, the Walking Dead attraction, which, of course, shut down earlier this year, I think in February, um, is, has walls around, of course, the, uh, attraction itself. Now, we did get confirmation that it will be returning to Halloween Horror Nights this year as a, of course, another May, so I am... I want to know if it's going to be, of course, um, a new a new maze, a new um, for the new seasons, or or what's going on. But there is walls surrounding the Walking Dead uh, entrance and exit way right there, indicating that there is work being done in that maze right now. So uh, only time will tell with that. We shall see uh, what it's going to bring to the table for Halloween Horror Nights 2020, if they're going to change it up at all, or if they're just going to keep the same stuff for one last time and then this will be like the this will be it uh no one knows yet so we shall see we shall see yeah i'm really hoping they're making some updates to it yeah one of the changes of the room or two or even just you know making sure everything looks pretty um, i hope they're doing something good with it definitely i have hope they are definitely um also there's a little bit of uh, news that i want to talk about too as well um I was messaging some of the other YouTube buddies, and uh, we were trying to figure out, of course, uh, with the new Waterworld construction going on, we wanted to know what that maze was going to be, and um, Scott from SoCal Exploring, full credit to him, uh, is actually um, speculating that this one is the Candyman maze that uh, is not on the leaked lineup yet, or speculated lineup, but um, it is, they're thinking, the secret IP for the event this year so um scott basically was saying that um you know the facade looks very reminiscent to one of the scenes in um of course candy band leading to what the facade looks like so that's definitely something uh i am keeping an eye on closely definitely i i It'll be, I, I think we've all been thinking it was going to be Candyman. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the, the, on, uh, 
you know, it's, I, I, th- I don't remember if it's on the speculation list, but I think it's something we have all been anticipating. With, yeah. Uh, you know, the remake coming out whenever it comes out now at this point. Um, I think it was postponed to 2021. But I think, you know, considering Jordan Pills producing this movie, us did well last year as a maze. They may have some advanced reading of the script, um, so why not? Yeah. Usually Murray does get that. I mean, he did a scene for Horrors of Blumhouse Chapter 2 uh, with Truth or Dare that was not in the film, but it was in the script, the original script, and that scene actually ended up in the maze itself, so that was pretty cool to see. But uh, I don't know. We'll keep an eye out for construction for all things haunt-related. Uh, um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um tune in next time uh for hopefully either another update or if we don't see you till then uh may streamings which premieres this wednesday um and an amazing special podcast that we have in store for you guys so stay tuned so see you guys on the flippity flip also happy mother's day happy mother's day to all you mothers out there (laughs) 